So welcome back to another video. So I was gonna make a video on just the strut bar right here install, but I just got these engine bay pieces painted back, missing a piece still. I'm like, you know what? Might as well just throw this into the video too. So this video is mostly about the strut bar, but I wanna go ahead and show off these. Like, look at this. I was gonna paint it myself, but I had a really good deal on this, so I couldn't pass up. And he, all I did was hand him like, um, a piece of wrap and he just mimicked it and he did a really good job. I told him to try to get some pearls in there and ooh, killed it. Got the white right here with the green pearls. Like you see the pearl a little bit, metallic. And it's super smooth because you know how rough these engine pieces are. So I'm, he killed it, he killed it. I got all my pieces right here. Ooh, and so smooth. Might as well try to pick the paint, I got some Adam ceramic coating right here. I ran out of the actual stuff, so, but this would do. And just to show you how well he paint matched it. It's a little faded right now, but look at that. Wow. That is insane. Crazy. Practically a mirror. All it was give him a piece of this wrap, and he killed it. He matched it perfectly. That's amazing, insane. I can't brag this enough, so. It's gonna be weird having my engine bay open for shows, but I love green, what can I say? Enough drooling, let's go ahead and coat these. And these been sitting for like, I got it, I, I had it done in a while. It's been almost about a month, so. Yeah, let it sit like a month before you coat it, so perfect timing. For the most part, it's ceramic coated. It's, uh, I mean, anything is better than nothing. So, until I get to get proper ones, I might redo the coat, but it should last for quite a bit. And this is in the heat a little bit to keep that color kind of bright. Even, I mean, if it starts fading, then I know we're not not to go anymore. <laughs> but he's painting my kit, so hopefully, it's like a test run so I can see how good he paints. I'm pretty happy with it, pretty for the most part. And this is a pretty complicated job in the ish, not really, because I had to mask him off some stuff, so. Little test run for here, so I can see whenever he paints my kit. So, not bad job at all. What do I think? So if that's a fade, you know, that's not good. So hopefully it shouldn't fade at all. It should stay the color for a long, long time. But just in case, got that ceramic coat, it could last a little bit longer. So, enough said, let's throw it in the car. Can't even see nothing. Black. I'm just happy that the ECU didn't get wet for it being out like that for so long. Kind of a big old hole. It's been raining. I said I've been gone for this for like almost a month already. This is the piece that I was missing right here. It's a fuse box box, but it should be good right there. So, try to get rid of the spider webs too. It's like another problem though. So, let's slap this on. I guess is it. Ah. Getting a little excited just for looking at this. Oof. Something different. I swear, if these bolts scratch my paint, I'll be so upset. That's why I wanted to hand tighten it, so. One more piece left. The satisfying clicks. What do y'all think? At first I thought it looked really rice, but I think it looks pretty nice. What do y'all think, rice or nice? whole car right here. It's kind of nice. I'm not, not sure I thought it would be, so. Wait, coming for that last piece right here. Cut the intake tube silver, because I feel like it'd be too much. I painted it white. 
And so that means this is gonna stay silver. So with this plugged in and everything like that, let's go ahead and talk about the strut bar. All right, let's go ahead and install the strut bar. Should be pretty simple. You don't need to remove anything off. And I was debating on removing this plate and wrapping it green, but I don't know. What y'all think? Would that be too much, too weird? Because I do have the silver intake. I feel like the silver and silver would be nice, but I don't know. I'm down for some opinions, what y'all think? Since this is also metal, what I'm gonna do first is probably hit it with some metal polish. I got some right here. Maybe I might hit it with a polisher, maybe do it by hand, but we'll see. I might hit it with the polisher though. So maybe hit, plug it in and hit it with the polisher DA real quick with the with the mother's there you go, magnum polish. Let's see if I need this. Holy dirty cow, I forgot to clean it. I guess some of the grease came from right here. It was getting on my hand just by holding it. I'm like, holy crap, but oh my god. Look how it looks. Look, I'm gonna give you some um, satisfaction right here. Right here. Oof. Ugh. Holy cow, that thing's shiny. Look at that. It's like. Here's like a little before, I guess, technically. Underneath, a little before, and the after. Look at that. Before, after. Not bad for five bucks for mothers. Good product. Here's the before. See, it's diamond dirty, like, I'm just wiping it. Nothing. Before, turn it. After. See as before, I'm just gonna hit it with a light ceramic spray. All right, with everything ceramic coated, it's time to throw it in the car. Believe it or not, I never installed a strut bar before, so. But how hard can it be, right? Famous last words, right? So, I know these are 14 mils, so 14. Should be, I think what I'm gonna do is start from one side, kind of like hand tighten it, then do the other side, and then just kind of hand tighten it and call that a day. So, I'm pretty sure we keep this too. I'm not too sure myself, actually. Because I think this one has like a little ring, so we may not need to keep this, but we'll see. I may just keep it. I don't, just why not? But we'll, we'll see. Eat. All right, I need a breaker bar. Gotta have my cheetah bar. I'm pretty sure people remove the black ring under it, like a black ring. I'm pretty positive people remove that, but I don't know, it fits with the dons, I don't know. We'll see. I did get this strut bar used, so it might fit pretty good already. Let's make sure I don't hit nothing on the paint. So let's see. Got my little free Harbor Freight light. I'm too lazy to go upstairs to get my actual light, so this will do. It's not gonna help now because it's a big shadow. But so, let's see. Let's move this other the one around. No, I hit nothing. That's one side. Go other side. Should be a simple kind of push. Boom, one-handed too, so it's not that bad. I heard people say that like, it's super hard to put on, like to fit on both sides, but easy there, easy there. Now I just gotta put the nuts back on. So for the torque, it's about 49 foot-pounds of torque, but my electric ratchet does about maybe 40, 50, so I'm just gonna ham it and go use the electric ratchet instead. So I was telling myself, it'd be really funny if I dropped the nut. I dropped the nut. I don't know where he's at now. I'll find out eventually. And it's on, except for one missing nut. What do y'all think? 
my ratchet, it should pretty much stop after a certain amount of foot pounds of torque. So I don't think this is gonna go anywhere. So we should be good. Like it's on there good. You're not missing a nut right there. It's on good. Missing worse that these are the, the airlift, the airlift nuts. I, I can't even order the OEM ones. So that sucks. I wanna know I wanna mismatch. Unless I can figure out where it is. What do I think? Yay or nay? Look at that shine. Oof. That polish did it good. Ugh. Look at that. Shiny. Pretty much it though. Very simple. And my engine bay looks a little better now. I definitely gotta put some sealant or silicone right here. I'll use the same one I use for my wide body. Put some over here just because I don't want it to start ripping or rusting. I had these door little covers on here, but I'm missing some now, so. Might as well just hit it with some seam sealer. Seal that away. Should be good. Do it on both sides. And then I think my engine bay is pretty much complete for the most part. We all think. Rice or nice? Let me down in the comment below. I'll see y'all in the next video. Once I figure out where this nut went.